All right, so hey guys, Vizel here. I'm joined here with Snow. We are going to be talking today about Fortnite, but someone, some pretty interesting about Fortnite, and that is not the game itself, but actually how people are receiving it. Because recently, especially ever since the launch of like Apex, it seems almost like Fortnite's been like, I don't want to say it's been like, getting more unpopular but it just it seems like its reputation hasn't been that stable there's a lot of reasons why we're gonna be talking about that if you have your own opinions on this well feel free to leave them in the comments i don't know if we're gonna do another follow-up to this but without further ado i guess let's get into this so personally what i would like to say about fortnite is that they have the updates that they have been doing they've been bringing random nonsense into the game just skins that people have not been enjoying like if you check some sites you could see that people have not been enjoying the shops but the recent update so people really enjoyed the infinity gauntlet mode the, uh, with the new avengers movie avengers endgame fortnite is doing another collaboration with them which might actually be bringing back the infinity gauntlet i'm not too sure which people might actually really enjoy but some of the random stuff that they have been adding into the game is like Things like the boom bow, the hamster ball, the scope revolver, even removing like stuff from like old seasons. Even now, this is an example that is pretty old, but such as removing grenades, scoped rifles, which I'm pretty sure they did remove at one point. The um, burst assault rifle, and also snipers. Uh, yes, yeah, semi-auto. All the OG ones. Personally, this is making people not enjoy the game because there's not as much variety in the game anymore. The game just feels the same. And they've also been... Some stuff they did is now... They they remove things that people enjoy, such as, like, the health for kills. People really enjoy Oh, yeah. That. Like, I remember Ninja was, like... And Ninja is essentially, like, the golden boy for good old Epic Games because, like, he's always usually saying, like positive like just spreading positivity about the new fortnite changes so seeing him actually you know taking a stand on this is actually you know in my opinion kind of interesting i don't know about you also i feel like though like yeah removing things like i i don't want to really i don't really want to make this comparison but it kind of feels like fortnite's just sort of becoming like the saints row almost of like it's battle royale. It's like it's going gone from like some well, no infantry rifle hamster ball now, and then that's actually an example I have to say because Saints Row it did start off as a really popular game series, but if you check I think it's Saints Row Four, you could see that they brought in a lot of futuristic n nonsense that made <laughs> absolutely no sense at all. Like me, I actually enjoyed some of the Saints Row games. I remember I used to play. Saints Row 3, whenever I had no Xbox Gold, I used to play all, play all the time because it was just so fun. And then Saints Row 4 comes in with all this really yeah. futuristic stuff that I had no understanding of what the hell was happening. At this point, they're just like, all right, people like new stuff, so let's put in new stuff. People don't like old stuff. It, out with the old and with the new. So they take out, you know, the OGs and, like... They, like, sh they shove in all this new stuff, which, in my opinion, is just kind of like, like, for example, like, like, with the map and all that. That's, that's just, I mean, like, I feel like what Epic needs to start doing before they even, like, consider removing or changing anything is to actually, like, I don't know, have, like, a poll or someone and actually ask people because the community needs to be more involved in this, like, there have been, like, a lot of games that have come and go that have died because the developer has just basically ignored the fan base. So I do have another example for this. You do, Now, eh? as you know, Fortnite, they have listened to their fans before. Fortnite used to be really heavily based on fan feedback. Like, the fans would suggest something, they would put it in. Now, and now with that expectation is that now that they've done that so much that... Whenever people ask for something, they don't do it anymore. That's also another thing that's making the game die. And they've been like ripping off their competitors, such as Apex Legends. <laughs> Whenever that first came in, they gave they put out some skins that were very similar to it. And Call of Duty. 
I'm gonna now. I play a ton of Call of Duty. Yeah. If you've ever watched. Yeah. You know, it's it's what I do, and something that Call of Duty hasn't that they haven't done a lot is listen to their consumers, which has made that game actually die a lot. Me, it makes me really sad because, you know, I really enjoy Call of Duty. It's one of my favorite. What they haven't been doing is listening to their consumers. Now with Treyarch, Black Ops Four, they uh. They've been doing okay at that, listening mm. to some stuff. Yeah, they've been... I mean, also, by the way, we made a whole video with the same people, me and Snow, on Call of Duty, which if you want to check that out, it should probably be an up next, but yeah, it'll probably also be in the description. But anyway, as you were saying... Like, Treyarch, now I know that like, I'm kind of repeating some stuff. They've been my favorite company. They've always actually listened to their consumers and stuff. Like... Now, I, I'm sorry for the Call of Duty examples, but Black Ops 3, people didn't want those exo jumps that Advanced Warfare did. But what, but what Treyarch did is now they knew that people didn't want it. But what they did is they pulled off a very clever execution. What they did is they took it and made it only so it could be used in for movement, not combat. So Treyarch, they do listen to their consumers, but they do it in a very clever way. Fortnite, what they did is they would always just come in and just do it. They wouldn't, they wouldn't try to do a clever way that would make it even better. No, they would just listen and do it immediately. That has made the community expect so much, and it's really made it gone down. And something that has actually revived the game was whenever Apex was becoming a thing, they did make it so you were able to get Season 8 for free. That did make the game come back alive, but in my opinion, Season 8 is one of the worst seasons out there. I hate the events, and I absolutely hate the Battle Pass. Okay, and so, sorry, I'm going to cut you off there. We have been extremely brutal on Fortnite throughout this video. But, I mean, like, they have done some good things in the past. Like, I do think that the game itself isn't awful. I just, I kind of, like, they've made good decisions in the past. And they've listened in the past. It's just right now the problem is that I feel like Fortnite does not have a plan laid out. And that's sort of the direction that I kind of wanted to sort of shift this video if that's okay. Of like what they actually should be doing. And in my opinion, I don't know about you, Snow. But I think that they need to come up with like a plan of making, figuring out what changes need to be made. And making sure if people actually want these changes to be made, like like I said, through polls and Twitter. Really? You do have a good point there. And something that they have been doing is that I, I personally don't like this. But something that people have been complaining about is the amount of tryhards on that game. And that has really made people quit the game. Me, I barely play it as much because of tryhards. I, every time I get into a fight, I always run into one. And a problem is that they're supporting this because what they did is they made a subtle change to how fast you could build. It went from 0.16 to 0.5, I believe. And obviously this did not make people happy because people are tired of going into a match, seeing a soccer skin, run up to them, doing some triple ramp ooga booga st stuff, and just murder them. People, they're losing players because of this because people don't know what to do. They are encouraging this and i feel like that they need to change some stuff back add some stuff back such as the health for like the health per kill maybe get maybe do that 500 cap on math was a pretty good idea and just make the billing time not as high and also fix some of the glitches like going through my goddamn wall <laughs> Yeah, Snow has been playing Fortnite since, like, season one, but he first got season three, I think it was, or season two, What I don't know which one, and I've been playing since, like, very end season three, so we've experienced a lot, and to be honest, I do feel like they've made a lot of decent changes, a lot of pretty negative changes, so I can definitely say that, at least from my perspective, the one thing I've said the most when it comes to Fortnite is who asked for this when they add something. Like, for example, when they removed the burst assault rifles, I remember asking myself, like, who wanted them gone? Now, yeah, 
be fired. Wait, what did you say? The employee must be fired. <laughs> yeah, and like also, they like with hamster balls too. I don't remember a single person asking if we could have a hamster ball as a vehicle. There's been a lot of different situations. I asked myself why. So I definitely do think I'm not alone on that because I know a lot of people who also feel the same way. So I think that Epic Games needs to take a stand on this. They need to actually fix this problem by implementing a plan. Sorry, my mic is kind of breaking on me. Whatever. All right. So basically, that's sort of, I guess, where this discussion ends, I guess. We don't really have much else to add. Um, this probably was one of the least organized videos I've ever made. But whatever, you know, discussions are cool. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave your thoughts in the comments. Do you think that this is what Fortnite should do? And by the way, do you even play Fortnite? But, yeah. So, hope you guys enjoyed. And make sure to check out Cat. I mean, not Cat. His name is not Cat. I never said that. Snow's channel. Alright, see you guys later. Bye. 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 Run away. Run while you still can. Die. Die.